Good morning, naturalists. So we are at the beaver pond today and I have my waders on. So I thought I could take you on a virtual tour of what's small in and around the pond. Now we've checked on the tadpoles that live here quite a bit. They have since all emerged from their egg masses and they line the rocks and soak up the sun. But we're gonna see what other small things we can spot here at the pond. So I'm gonna take a walk through the pond and I'll bring you along with me. Let's see what we see. All right, everybody, I'm just kind of wandering through the pond. You can see my car and the road behind me. The peepers are calling, the chickadees are giving their, hey, sweetie, call all around me. And I'm just kind of walking around to try and notice small things in the pond. I'll show you what I find, but if you're at a pond, try to do the same thing. Wander around, use your owl eyes, and try to spot some cool things that you probably wouldn't notice if you weren't focused on the world of small. So part of what I'm looking at in the world of small at the pond is the plants that also live either in the pond or right next door to the pond. Now there's a couple growing right here on the bank that I noticed and I'd love to share them with you. Let's take a peek. All right, so we have a couple of kind of small plants that are growing right here. We have our Canada Mayflower. I've been seeing this pop up all over the place. And then right next door is some wintergreen. So even though we're looking at the pond today, I also love to get down low and notice the small things popping up all around the banks of the pond. All right, so I just spotted something small in the pond. Do you see those red tips on those light green stalks right there? That is British soldier lichen. So you might remember from our lichen video that lichens are a relationship between a fungus and an algae or a cyanobacteria. And that's what we have right here. I love spotting British soldier lichen. I think it's so pretty. And it's growing right here in the pond. Look at this naturalists. Now it might just look like a tree or a branch, but if you look closely, do you see those marks? Check out the end. I think most of you will recognize who chewed this log. And if we go up the bank a little bit, there's more evidence. Check that out. This is an active beaver pond and the beavers are showing us they're here and they're active. Now, when I come to the pond, always try to have a nice big scooping cup with me. So I'm gonna take a big scoop of the water and then I'm to another tray to let everything settle down and we'll see who is in the water at the pond. All right, so I moved my big scoop into my bucket to let everything settle and I think we have a couple of critters. Right, let's see if we can get them to come up to the surface. Now there's definitely a whirly gig beetle or two in here. Let's see if we can kind of contain this whirly gig beetle. There it is. Oh, come here. So that crazy looking thing is our whirly gig beetle. They kind of remind me of sea turtles when they move. I love the way their legs extend and the crazy way they move through the water. And then I believe I saw a stonefly larva in here. So let me show you the picture of this. That are stonefly larva. And a lot of the things on my macro invertebrate sheet are larva because a lot of critters will use the pond to protect and provide plenty of food for their larva until they metamorphose into the larger critter. So let's see if we can spot that stonefly larva in our bucket. I'm gonna move some leaves around carefully. I might actually take some of these leaves out. 
And that way we can have a clearer view of what's going on. Anybody see that stonefly larva yet? I see lots of whirligig beetles. They're swimming all over the place. All right, let's move a little bit more. Some leaves out of there. Oh my gosh, whirligig beetles galore. All right, let's move a little bit more. Come on, stonefly larva, where are you? All right, I found that larva and I stand corrected. I didn't get a good look at it first and now I see this is actually a damselfly larva. Do you notice how it has those three really wide, almost flipper-like pieces at the end of its body? Let me see if I can give you a closer look without too much reflection or shadow. Whoops, sorry, buddy. There, you kind of got a little view of it. Let me show you the picture. So that is our damselfly larva. Let's zoom out a little bit, there we go. You can see those three pieces at the end of its body. And that's exactly what we're seeing right here. So we have whirligig beetles and a damselfly larva. So cool. All right, now it's not exactly small, but I spotted something else that I love to touch and play with at the pond. Let me grab it. Pond scum! Oh, look at that! I actually think it feels really cool. Kind of reminds me of hair. Could put it on my, on my raincoat, make me look like I have some hair. Oh, it's lovely. So if you're at a pond, see if you can spot some pond scum and feel it. Feels really cool. All right, I found a couple tadpoles just hanging out on this rock. There's one. There's another one. And they're still very small. They probably, oh, they're everywhere. They're all around me. These probably came out of their egg mass last week, I think is when I noticed. So they're still really small, but they're all around the pond and they consumed their egg mass. Right now they're probably consuming plant material and decaying material. Let me see if I can get one to move a little bit. Oh. Hello friend. Oh, so cool. Well naturalists, that's our pond in the world of small. Now, if you have a pond nearby or any body of water, try going for a visit and focus your owl eyes, get down low, bring a bucket, make a water magnifier, and try to observe the small things going on at the pond. Now, I'm gonna keep looking around my pond, I'll share anything I see, and I would love for you to share anything that you notice at your pond. All right, naturalists, I will see you soon. Stay curious. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye, everybody.